Cousins Dave Schaefer and Pete Vale bore the idea of forming a rock band late in 2011 as a therapeutic release from the pressurized day-to-day -day New York City living. Adding more members, the band was complete in early 2012. For about a year, they would get together and formally sing, talk, and enjoy the company of each other's talents. They played their first live show in January 2013. Denison soon became a staple on the Lower East Side music scene. The current lineup was solidified in late 2017 and the band was back as never before. They're also Britside Live alumni and we're welcoming them back for episode number 150. So get ready for Denison. Please like and subscribe and stay notified for future content. Tonight's host is Paul Liatis, aka Mr. Britside. This is Britside Live 150. Welcome to the studio on the 150th episode of Bridside Live. Woo! Bridside Live alumni, Denizen.
excited to be back here for the 150th episode. What an honor. In in studio, I think we could use a little bit more organ back here potentially. I couldn't I couldn't hear it so well. Thanks. Featuring some uh, music from an upcoming LP we got coming out. And uh, the first song there was Hella Fix. And that last one was an older song. It's called Nervosa. This next one's going to be on the album. It's called uh, Hijack.
ground Is it rust the only measure of our town? Do you remember all oh, years ago We weren't like enough, we just shut in the door I don't believe in the tomorrow Or in yesterday I don't believe that it's distance The building up and wasting away. But all the best of all I've ever been, not just the dust of a road tossed up in your wind. I would love to tell you what I've been feeling like. Or we could just say my days have been faded all Faded in a night and I don't believe in tomorrow Or in yesterday I don't believe that it's distance Oh, that's Looking down that wall down and now There's nothing left of our mistakes shoulder I think you won't know where you've been if it's over and we're just darkness for the night 
I still be glad that I caught you passing by and I don't believe in tomorrow or in yesterday I don't believe that it's distance All right, yeah, this is another one from uh, our upcoming album. It's for the great state of Virginia, and it's cleverly entitled Virginia. Must be a million of faces just like her She says this is just a hopeless case I'm not waiting around your dying place With nothing to wait around for She's so rare she left the drown By the look on the blown tail line You could tell that she won't come at all let out a breath, yes, and then a sigh, she Letting down the road that night, feeling that She was real and gone Oh yeah, don't, don't wait, Virginia Don't straight the rose that wine Underneath the ceiling On your starry skies Don't wait, Virginia from the hills of green I'll be better off I guess so don't you wait around for me Down, but it was a car broke down on the side of the Rockville, Maryland Highway. It stood around and left it there. You threw a thumb out in the air till a driver stopped in the pouring rain. Oh, yeah, don't wait, Virginia. Don't shred the rolls that wide. Underneath the ceiling of all your starry skies Don't wait, Virginia, if I from your hills of green I'll be better off, I guess, so don't you wait around for me Breath, 
the bone the dash so the smoke from the driver's ass tray blends together right in through Bayonne destination now inside at the glow of New York City's light she's out there thumbing her way back home and on and on and on yeah, don't wait Virginia don't straight the rose that wind underneath the ceiling of all your starry skies don't Virginia, far from your hills of green I'll be better off, I guess Why don't you wait around for me? Don't wait, Virginia Don't strip the rose and wine Underneath the ceiling of all your starry skies Don't wait, Virginia Far from your hills of green I'll be better off Thank you, in the studio audience.
Uh, thank you very much. The song's called Naked Eyes. <laughs> I really like what you guys have redone with the place here. It looks good in here. I like it. <laughs>
We're going to bring it down a little bit from there. Where else is there to go, really? I'm feeling my love, I see it all a little different. Sometimes I don't think it quite had to turn out this way. If you could see me now, I know you can see it clearly. If we may, you could still see by the light of our first day. Now, oh, but I've got nothing left to give you. Just some advice. You never have to tell no Baby, don't waste your time leaning on window pane Don't dry your eyes with every drop of rain We don't feel you, my love, I see it all a little different Sometimes the thing is best not to see it all you close your eyes, I think you might try to remember If you close your eyes, I think you might try to recall Oh, but I've got nothing left to give you Just some advice you never have to take No, no, baby, don't waste your time Side live. It's, it seems we hardly got to know each other. It's our last song already, somehow. Uh, but we're so excited for 150, and we love all all that you guys do here for local bands in New York City. It's kind of amazing, to be yeah. honest. And as a local band, we're very appreciative. Thank you very much. Um, okay, uh, this next song is called "Pretty Words," and it will be featured prominently on our upcoming LP uh, to be released in the fall sometime. So. You know, keep following us, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. We'll see you next time, Bridgeside. One bright morning I'll 
Something different now oh, they're pretty words And this is where it ends So I've heard Start of something different now oh, they're pretty words
very much. Guys, thank you for coming back for the 150th. Woo! I love you guys. I'm glad you guys were here for the 150th, awesome, awesome. Dave. Band, thank you for watching. We are not done yet. This is the 150th episode of Bridgeside Live, and we do a Q&A after the live performance. So give your questions to the stream. We're going to feed it to the band, send them the questions, and stay tuned for a, a clip of Cooking in Brooklyn while we set up for the Q&A. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Go with Bridgeside. Woo! Woo! And we're back with the Bridgeside Live Q&A portion of the show. This is the 150th episode, and we are here with Denizen, making it back to the studio, guys. You were here season one, episode 46, I believe. Hmm. And now we've come 104 episodes since that time. Crazy, right? Awesome stuff. All yeah. You know, we didn't think it was, we didn't know what we were doing in the beginning. We just wanted to have live music in this studio. And it started with my sister's band, my cousin's band, my cousin's friend's band. And I'm like, all right, we need a fourth week. And I knew Ross from Bubbles. And I knew we had a band. We had a conversation. Bubbles is a bar in Bay Ridge. And we had a conversation one day. And this, I remembered back a few months. I'm, oh, that I guy, Ross. That. You I don't, don't remember, remember that at all. I didn't remember You didn't know who I was then, but no. I had some bar conversation with you. I knew your face bartender. and I knew you drank pints yep. of Budweiser. Budweiser, <laughs> pints. A little pints. bit. We like Makers and Bud here. And yeah. You can sponsor us if you want, Makers Please. and Bud. Uh, but then I'm like, Ross, can you bring your band? And he did. And then you brought like four other performances you've yeah. been on the show i don't know if this is like seven times now i don't know do we count do we count the third avenue fest though uh it should count you yeah, know so that's like we're hitting like seven eight at that wow point. you've been uh, you've been live a lot it's with too us. much and it's dylan much. as well <laughs> and now this is your third then i think and yeah. dylan you were with uh, maniacs in the mailbox, mailbox and, yeah. yeah crazy yeah and we have a new. Why don't you introduce yourself to the show? This is you're the first newbie here. Hey, Bridgeside. Sure. My name's Eric. Eric, and this is my first time on Bridgeside Live. Yeah. Go Bridgeside. Yeah. Go Bridgeside. How is the experience? Is it everything they said it would be and more? Oh, it's much more. You guys are super yeah? professional, cool. and, and I really want to thank everyone in the studio. You guys are rocking it. Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. 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 Awesome. So, question: When you came here first, it was a different lineup. How long have you guys been, this is a two-parter, how long have you been playing for people that don't know you, and how many lineup changes have you gone through, and how oh long boy. is, three-part question, and how long is this lineup, this is a long question. Yeah. As, uh, start uh, three-part question. Yeah. Tell me uh, your like whole story, Dave. 50 alumni in this band, I think. <laughs> I think it's most of All Southern Brooklyn, yes. actually. Exactly. Uh, uh, I actually, I wouldn't be able to say that offhand. Yeah. There's been a number of people come and go. We've had five. Draws is our fifth drummer, and he's been here the longest. Lucky so. number five. Yeah. What year did you guys start it? Because you and Peter Cousins. Yes, yeah. we are Cousins. We, and, uh, and you started the band. We Yeah, we both started the band in uh, 2011? late 2011, and um, we didn't really play a first show until 2013. Um, and uh, the lineup has changed significantly since then. Um, the current lineup, I think, Eric, you Just were over a year. You were the last to join, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and was that a little over a year ago? It was uh, one year and five months ago. There we go. Wow, it's been that long. Already. Ross has been here. Counting the moments. Whoa. Ross is, uh, it, well, Pete and I, I guess, are the remaining original members, but Ross is I'm pretty making much, my way. I'm making my pretty way. much original. He's been yeah. here since 2015. That's a long yeah. time now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and Dylan, 2017. 2016. 2016. Really? Oh, boy. Well, time goes by quick. Do we have a 2017? No, 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 it doesn't work that way. We're getting old. And Rashid's the newest member? Uh, Eric. We were right about uh, Eric's the newest yeah. member, yeah. but yeah. Rashid, yes. you came here for Avid Gamblers. Avid I didn't gamblers. even know you knew Rashid, guys. Like I didn't. I mean, <laughs> we're music, the reason right? that he played it. Yeah. What? Yeah, we're, the right. we're the reason that. Oh, right. Avid well, okay. Yeah, so one, of, one of the bands. I should have. Another point. You for know, Ross. 150 episodes through, they all kind of mesh together. Especially <laughs> with you, track. Ross. You're like uh, you're like one of the godfathers of this show. Hell yeah! Thank you. It's a pleasure. So, as you guys know, we have streams. We have questions from the stream, and Kyle's in the control room right now. Kyle, give us one. Now. <laughs> All right. Hey, Denison. Um, we got a question from Gerard Steven Sullivan Jr. Ah, uh, Sully. Hey. Uh, these, are, these questions are kind of specific, but Ross, where did you get those glorious locks? <laughs> Ross, where did you get those glorious locks? I was born locks? with them. I was actually born with hair exactly like this. The beard came a little bit later, Sully. Um, I'm still aspiring to have a beard like you, Sully. One day, maybe, you know, but the hair I was born with. Luckily, I came out just like this. I don't know you with anything else. I don't know me with anything look. else. I cut it one time in college, and I drank a lot after that to try and forget about that time. Oh. I looked like Justin Bieber for a couple how to months. Go to the barber. 
since. You got a very. I haven't gotten a professional haircut like in a real place. I don't. Maybe high school. Wow. Yeah. He's just going for the Jon Snow look. Really. And a lot of conditioner. You got to use a lot of conditioner, Sully. Good conditioner. Condition every day, shampoo every other, Sully. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Kyle, another wow. specific question. <laughs> um, the Jerry Farley wants to know what kind of snare the drummer is using. Ooh, good question. Oh. It's a Yamaha yeah, Copper one. Snare. Uh, I don't exactly know the model number, but uh, it's the loudest drum I've ever owned. Uh, it's awesome. It's a 14 and a half by five and a half. And 14 by five and a half, and it's solid. It's we all just played a, 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 a show in Baltimore that was in like this ba brick basement, and he's like, "I'm going to bring the loudest possible <laughs> snare yeah. for that Oops. occasion." And Don't so uh, loud we were all very appreciative of that. Yeah, I'm not very quiet. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, me too. I love you. you. All right, we got uh, got another one. Christina Douglas wants to know who are the guitarists' influences. Ooh. I guess oh, was she a, then that was a layup. That was a layup. Uh, Pete. So uh, for me, it's uh, a whole bunch of folks, but Stevie Ray Vaughan, Eric Clapton, B.B. King, Santana, and then a embarrassing mix of Steve Vai and Joe Satriani, Long Island, hey. uh, that, that helps it along. Awesome. Very nice. Awesome. Uh, do we, do we, we have another one, Kyle? question. Um, Jay Hebda wants to know why are you guys so amazing? Uh, that was general, <laughs> general consensus tonight on social media. Uh, it's because of awesome fans like you and your awesome support. Um, and Thank we've been you. playing for a long time, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's also, it's all powered by Ross's hair, getting back to that. It's yes. definitely Ross's so, hair, yeah. The longer totally. the hair, the better the band. <laughs> condition every day, kids. Yeah, that's condition, condition every day. Yeah, that's really the answer, it's just condition. Yeah. Yeah. We're a L'Oreal band. Yeah, L'Oreal's oh, cheap yeah. garbage. That's better. <laughs> All right. Well, the Ross Ross is, is, is going? Yeah. Do we have Ginger any more? Juice. Yeah. Or can I get back to my I questions? Because I, 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 I keep. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. No, no more questions. <laughs> Kyle's going to pick up the food. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, the go. food is here. I've been getting texted. Uh, so the the food guy's coming. So, guys, where are you playing next? What do you got on the oh, schedule? Oh, that's a good question. Well, we have a few shows in, uh, but our next New York City show. Is going to be at uh, Le Poisson Rouge in. Uh, One more time, please. Le Poisson Rouge. <laughs> oh, uh, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> down in. We're, yeah, and. Uh, it's we're on Bleecker. In, in the village. French In the village, hats. yeah. Um, Saturday, June 29th. Uh, and we're going to be playing with two awesome bands, too The New Tarot and uh, the U.S. Americans, who I think you have coming on. They're coming up pretty soon. Soon, yeah. Awesome. So oh, there you awesome. go. So hopefully they promote as well. Yeah, let's promote, guys, U.S. Americans. Um, but, yeah, we would love to see any and all uh, viewers at that show. Come on out, y'all. <laughs> I just want to say this. I don't know if we ever talked about this. You know that you look like Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers? Really? That's one of the better <laughs> things. You I've never heard. heard that? I've heard, like, you, uh, you got I've a little Rodgers thing going. I've gotten you a lot of Jim from The Office. Oh, yeah. And I've gotten a lot of, uh, what's that guy, uh, the, the guy with the Russian connection, um, spy... I can't think Snowden? of Snowden. Snowden, yeah. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of Snowden. Snowden. That's a wide Ed Snowden. Of yeah. Snowden. That's, a, that's a tough one at the airport. But now Aaron, I'll take Aaron Rodgers over Ed Snowden any day. Awesome. Thank you. We'll give you a football you look just like him. Thank you very guys, much. Guys, thanks for coming back. Thanks right. for having us. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations, Congratulations yeah, guys. Congrats. 150. So Congratulations. Congrats. Thank all right. you all for watching. Thanks to the viewers for keeping it going and the bands. If you're a band, we're 150 episodes through. Hit us up. Uh, info at gobridside.com to find out the information about getting on the show. And we have another show coming up, 151, next Tuesday. Hambone Relay is coming to the studio. Don't miss it. We're keeping it going. We're going to get the 300, and you'll all be a part of it. Guys, thanks hey. once again. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 150. Woo! 150. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sweet. Awesome. Go Side. Thank you, Brimside! Come on, baby, calling me crazy, and you'll never forget what you see.